One of the things I think a lot of folks here are interested in is based off the APIs that very large models will create, what are the real business opportunities? There will be like a serious challenge to Google for the first time. There will be a middle layer that becomes really important. What do you think some of the surprises will be of you didn't realize it reached that far? The biggest like systemic mistake in thinking people are making right now is they're like, it's not going to be generating net new knowledge for humanity. And that is what I think will turn out to be wrong that most surprises the current experts in the field. So so one of the things I think a lot of folks here are interested in is based off the APIs that very large models will create, what are the real business opportunities? Like what are the ways to look forward? And then how, given the, the, the APIs will be available to, to multiple players, how do you create distinctive businesses on them? Yeah. Um, so I, I think so far we've been in the realm where it's, you know, you can do like a, an incredible copywriting business or you can do like a sort of like education service or whatever. Um, but we, I don't think we've yet seen the kind of like people go after the like, you know, trillion dollar like take on Googles. Um, and I think that's about to happen. Like maybe it'll be successful, maybe Google will do it themselves. But like I would guess that with the quality of, of language models we'll see in the coming years, um, you know, there will be like a serious challenge to Google for the first time for, for a search product. Um, and I think people are really starting to think about like, how do the fundamental things change? Um, and that's gonna be really powerful. Uh, I think that a, 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 like a human level chat bot interface that actually works this time around, like I, I think like, you know, many of these trends that like we all made fun of were just too early. Like the chat bot thing was good, it was just too early. Um, now it can work and I think, you know, having like, new medical services that are done through that, uh, where you get great advice, or new education services, like this, these are gonna be very large companies. Uh, I think we'll get multimodal models in not that much longer, and that'll open up new things. I think people are doing amazing work with sort of agents that can use computers to do things for you, use programs, and this idea of like a language interface, um, where you, know, you say in natural language what you want in this kind of like dialogue back and forth. You can iterate and refine it and the computer just does it for you. You see some of this uh, with like Dolly and Copilot in very early ways. Um, but I think this is gonna be a massive trend and you know, very large businesses will get built um, with this as the interface and more generally that like these very powerful models will, will be um, one of the genuine new technological platforms which we haven't really had since mobile and there's always like an explosion of new companies right after. So that'll be cool. And, and what do you think the key things are, given that the large language model we provided as an API service, what are the things that you think that folks who are thinking about these kind of AI businesses should think about as how do you create an enduring differentiated yeah. business? So, you know, there, there, I think there will be a small handful of like fundamental large models out there that other people build on. Uh, but right now what happens is, you know, company makes large language model, API, other people build on top of it. And I think there will be a middle layer that becomes really important where uh, I, I'm like skeptical of all of the startups that are trying to sort of train their own models. I don't think that's gonna keep going. But what I think will happen is there'll be a whole new set of startups that take an existing very large model of the future and tune it uh, which is not just fine tuning, like all of the things you can do. I think there will be a lot of access provided to create the model for medicine or using a computer or like the kind of like friend or, or whatever. And then those, those companies will create a lot of enduring value because they will have like a special version of, they won't have to have created the base model, but they will have created something they can use just for themselves or share with others that has this unique data flywheel going that sort of improves over time and all of that. So I think there will be a lot of value created in that middle layer. And what do you think some of the most surprising ones will be? It's a little bit like, for example, you know, a surprise from a couple of years ago, and we talked a little bit to Kevin Scott about this this morning as we opened up, which is train on the internet, do code, <laughs> right? So, so what do you think some of the, the, the surprises will be of you didn't realize it reached that far? I think the biggest like systemic mistake in thinking people are making right now is they're like, all right, you know, maybe I was skeptical, but this language model thing is really going to work, and sure, like images, video too, but but it's not going to be generating net new knowledge for humanity. It's mm -hmm. just going to like do what other people have done, and you know that's still great. That's still like brings the marginal cost of intelligence very low, but it's not 
it's not going to go like create fundamentally new, it's not going to go cure cancer, it's not going to add to the sum total of human scientific knowledge. And that is what I think will turn out to be wrong that most surprises the current experts in the field.